We're gonna put seven different Thunderbolt 4 enclosures head to head. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So we have a fun one today. I thought this was gonna be a good idea. I've done reviews on all seven of these enclosures separately over here. These are seven different Thunderbolt 4 enclosures in front of me, but I figured I just got a brand new drive from Oracle. It's a brand new SSD M.2 NVMe drive they came out with. I figured I'll go ahead and I'll test all seven of these head to head with this single drive right here. I'll switch it between all of them. And we're gonna see which enclosure, which Thunderbolt 4 enclosure comes out the fastest. There's gonna be some winners, there's gonna be some losers, and I think you're gonna be shocked at a couple little things I found out. So without further ado, I'm gonna first introduce the drive and then we're gonna go through all of these and at the end of it, I'll have a graph comparing all of them. Let's get into it. Okay, so the drive I'm gonna be using for the test right now is gonna be a brand new drive by Oraco. And this is actually the drive, the drive is actually called the Oraco. It's the O7000 right here. And this is gonna be an M.2 NVMe PCI 4.0 drive, PCIe 4.0 drive. And they're claiming up to 7,000 megabytes per second on this thing, so it's gonna be a really fast drive. Here it is on Amazon right now. The cool thing is, is now this is the one terabyte version I'm testing, but they don't have it up on Amazon. Right now they just have the two terabyte and the 512 gigabyte up here. But you can see for two terabytes right now, it's $129 only, and there's a $15 coupon right now. So that comes down to 115 bucks for two terabytes, 57, nine, what is it, 57.50 per terabyte. Crazy, crazy deal here on the drive like this. And uh, you know, here's some stat, here's the name of it right here. Here's some stats on it, 7,000 megabytes per second. You can see what it's got in here. Um, it, it says it comes with the one terabyte, which I have, it's just not on here, and a four terabyte, it's not on there as well. So that might come you know, back in a little bit. So keep an eye for that. It does have smart and trim support as well. But you can go ahead and take a look at some of the key stats here. And uh, I just wanted to introduce this drive. So we're gonna be using this as the test platform. Now keep in mind that this can get up to around 7,000 if you directly put it on a motherboard. But we're testing these Thunderbolt 4 enclosures. So you're not gonna get anywhere near that obviously in these enclosures, but we should be getting around 3,000 megabytes per second for external storage, which is really crazy if this is gonna work well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put these head to head. I'm just gonna do really quick test on these. And then at the end of it, I'll have a graph showing you which of these wins with that exact drive in it. And this is, again, this is not a perfect test, I understand. There's a lot more stuff I could do, but I just figured I would show all people what, you know, if I put the exact same drive in all seven of these things, where do they come out? And I figured at least it's worth something. Okay, so let's start with the first enclosure here and take a look at my screen. This is the QuizLab fanless 40 gigabit per second USB 4. So obviously this is around $90 right now. It does have a 10% coupon on it as well. So you can get that even cheaper. Another like, what is it, eight or nine bucks off. You can go ahead and see the price here. Now it's actually sitting right here. I'll show you some close-ups of it. I like this thing. It's really well constructed and uh, it's just built like a tank. It doesn't have any fan or anything like that built into it. But overall the construction is just really solid metal. It's got a lot of room for cooling and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and just do some tests here now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just show you the test that came up, the very first test I did, and then we'll come back and we'll, you know, I do all seven of them, and then at the end of it, we'll put them into a graph to show you the winners and the losers. All right, so here we, this is exactly what we got with this exact drive over here. We actually got 20, 29, 28 on the writes, and then 3,083, on the reads. Those are megabytes per second. So really, really fast in this enclosure. Again, that's the quiz lab, the one I first showed you. And that's the statistics there. So let's keep moving down the line here. So we got a couple of these to go through. The next one I want to go ahead and test here. This is the Sateki M.2 enclosure. I did a video on all of these separately. So check out my channel. I did a video on that one as well. Let's see if I can find it. It's right here. I'll show you some close-ups of that. So here's the picture of it too. This is really solidly built. Now this is by Sateki, which is a very good company. And uh, now I, this is one complication that I got with this enclosure. So I actually am going to post something in the other video because I figured something out here. So the very first test I did with this one here, let me actually go to it here. This is the result I got. I got 950 on the writes and then 929 on the reads. And I was like, what's going on? This is a Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. Sometimes, I mean, I used to get around 3,000 with this. I didn't know exactly what's happening here. So the cord that they gave me is right here. It's a very short cord. And uh, I ended up just switching the cord out with another Thunderbolt 4 cable. And I actually used this Zyk one over here, which is, I'll show you in a second. I used that cable and I reran the test. After changing the cable out, you know, what was I able to get consistently was 2987 on the writes, 3085 megabytes per second on the reads. So really, really high scores, some of the highest that we've seen. And uh, it was because of that cord change. And again, that's this attacky one here. So I'll come back to that, but I'm not sure I can recommend this one anymore because unless you bring your own cord to it, I just don't know what's going on with that cord. 
it's unusual. And I've heard other people say the same thing online a couple times where they're saying it's not doing it for me. And I think I've narrowed it down to just it maybe being a bad Thunderbolt 4 cable. I'm not sure yet. So that was that one there. The third one I'm going to be testing here is the Zyke drive over here. This is actually one of the better constructed ones as well. This is like the Quiz Lab. It's actually full aluminum. It's got a plastic shell around it. It's got two different cables built into it. Again, check out that video I did on it. You can, you can just go to my channel and search for that. You'll find it. Here it is right here. So it's $119. Now I do have a coupon code. I'll put it in the description. So I think it's like, I don't know if it's like 10% off or something. So you're going to get it even for less than this, all right? And then if you actually bundle it over here, you can even get it down to $95 as well. So, but you can only buy this on their site. This is not on Amazon. Just keep that in mind. But this is, you know, this is a very nice enclosure for sure. Absolutely. So when I went ahead and I tested this one, what did I get? I got 2978 megabytes per second on the writes and 3076 megabytes per second on the reads. You can see it right here. And I just took screenshots of the test I ran. So obviously it's not real, it's not running currently here in real time. So that was actually a really good result there. Let's keep moving though. I want to just kind of get through as many as I can here. So the next one I actually tested, this is the Mini Superu. And this is a little bit older technology. I mean, it's not older technology, but I got this maybe about a year ago sitting right here. And I'll show you some close-ups of that as well. Here it is up online. So this is one of the cheaper ones. This is right here called the 40 gigabit per second M.2 drive. $79. It's 11% off plus a $10 coupon right now. So, you know, you're going to be getting these for a little bit cheaper than the other ones, obviously, like 10 or 20 bucks cheaper than the ones I had showed you with the, you know, the really high scores there. $79. So does this mean it's going to be a little bit slower? Let's check it out. So we did actually get a little bit slower speed now. So with the same drive and I installed everything the same, let it cool down. I got 2551 on the writes and I got 2812 on the reads, megabytes per second. So you can see that that enclosure, because it's a little bit cheaper, a little bit maybe older, was not able to get up to that 3000 level. It's, you know, 24, you know, you're about 500 megabytes off on the writes and about 200 off on the reads. So it's a little bit slower is what I noticed there. Um, so the next one I actually wanted to go ahead and the next, so the next one I wanted to test was this one over here. So this is the only one with the fan, active fan in it right here. And this is actually the Grau, Grau gear, I believe. <laughs> here it is, so you can see it right here. 89 bucks right now, 10% off coupon right now as well. And I actually really like this one. This one's built of all solid aluminum. It's got these kind of weird, you know, if you look on here, it's got kind of this um, design where it's got these cooling, you know, you can see the side of it, but they're like little cooling brackets and stuff. It's really, you know, high quality metal with a little fan on it. But obviously I can't really test if the fan's doing too much because I haven't tested the heat yet, which maybe I'll do in another test here. So anyways, that's, that's it right here. So if you're thinking about this one, let's go ahead and see what the test came back with this one. This one performed really well, as, you know, it, it just seems like it was one of the highest as well. 2983.7 on the rights and then 3,072 on the reads over here. So obviously you can see those scores. They're all really, really consistent with the, with the higher ones. So these are very, very similar to the other ones I had that were at the kind of the top of the limit there. So that performed really well as well. Now we only have two more here. So the last two that I tested here um, was, an again, it's an older one, meaning that I got this maybe about a year, year and a half ago. But it's still, let me just see here, it's still online. It's the Acasis right here, 40 gigabit per second M.2 enclosure, 89 bucks. And uh, let me just see your coupon is apply a $15, $15 coupon right now. So that's going to obviously bring that price down as well. Um, but if I go over here, let's just take a look at what we did here. So we got, you know, we got a little bit lower with that one as well. We got 2457.8 on the rights, and then we got 2801 on the reads. You can see it there. So it seems like these little bit older ones that I'm testing are just doing slightly, you know, a little bit slower speeds than the ones that are more, more recent that came out more recently. So for all it's worth, I think this is telling us something. So, I mean, ones, you know, you might be able to get a really good cost in those. And if you can, then obviously, you know, the difference here is not going to be a huge thing in real life. It's a couple hundred megabytes per second. But if you want the fastest, obviously you may want to avoid those. So the last one I tested here in the list then finally, if I can get to it, was the Gigamundo. And this is called the uh, AJM40C, 40 gigabit per second enclosure right here. $79 right now. And it doesn't look like there's anything, but obviously there could be some things coming up here, you know, with Amazon sales coming up. So there we go. But that's obviously one of the cheaper ones just with the, the raw, you know, the raw price of it. If we went down over here, same thing, 2440 on the rights and then 2794 on the on the reads. So again, we got a little bit slower there. Um, you know, both a, a couple hundred on the reads and maybe four or five hundred on the rights. So it's a little bit cheaper, but you're gonna slow and it's a little bit slower than what these other faster ones do. So 
Let's just go ahead and take a look at the overall graph here. So what, what do we what do we see overall? So what, what are the kind of the takes from this? I mean, obviously you're watching this video because you might be thinking about buying a Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. Um, obviously one take I got out of this whole thing was first of all, the drive, um, the Oracle here. This drive actually, what is it again? It's the O7000. I have the one terabyte version. Again, it comes in two terabytes. You can get online for that really good cost. This thing's really, really consistent. I've tested a lot of drives throughout these things, and some drives work well, some don't. This one worked really consistent through all of them, and I think it wasn't the drive. I mean, basically, the, all the fast ones over here were almost, I'll show you in this graph, but they're so close. This thing is just a really solid, consistent drive overall. Um, so take a look over here. So like, obviously, here's the Quiz Lab enclosure. That's the one that I had said is really built solidly. It doesn't have any moving parts. 2986, 3084. And then we went to this Ateki. So the Ateki, the first time I tested it with the bad cable, which it came with, you know, way down here, and then I changed the cable out, and it actually performed the best. It had the highest scores. But because this cable issue, and there's been some inconsistencies with it, I don't think I can totally recommend it, even though, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's so close. It's like one, uh, one megabyte per second here and a two or three here. So I don't think it's worth it. I mean, these things are basically the same. And then the Zyke as well. The Zyke scored almost similar to exactly these other two as well. 2978, 3076. We're talking, you know, a difference of maybe 10 megabytes per second between these three. Pretty crazy and very consistent with this drive. So then we actually got into these like a little bit older enclosures that I had tested, and, like the Mini Super one here. And this is 2451 and 2813. You can see this drop off here. So the drop off, obviously, it's not a ton. It's still going to be very, very fast for most people. It depends if you can get a deal on them, but they're just not as fast as these other three. But the Grau Gear was. So the Grau Gear, you know, it has the active fan on it. Um, it's the one over here that's black and uh, 2984 on the, what is it, on the rights, 3072 on the reads. Again, really, really awesome scores. And they're just so similar to these other ones over here that it's pretty amazing actually. And then these last two are the older ones actually. Again, you can see here, this is the Acasis 2458 and the megabytes per second, 2801. So, I mean, it's just pretty amazing how consistent this is. And then the last one over here was the, the Gigamundo 2440 and 2794. So these older ones, this one here, this one, and this one, all were so consistent. And these newer ones over here are all so very consistent. And then obviously we had this issue with the Sateki. So what can you take from this? Well, I mean, one thing is this drive seems to be really good and it works really good with all enclosures. I haven't run into any incompatible issues with it. So for an external storage, it might be a really good option for you. Again, I'm not doing a full review because I haven't tested this long term. I just got it. Um, I put it into these things. I've been testing it. We can do better tests than this. We can do, you know, hundreds and maybe a terabyte of data movement and, and see when the drive's more full, all those different tests. But I just wanted to do an initial speed test. I know it's not perfect, but it is head to head with the exact same drive. And uh, I just thought it was an interesting test. So leave your comments if you want. We'll do more of these things. But if you want to see these individual enclosures, definitely check them out because I've done videos on all of them here. And I just think it's, you know, good to kind of put them head to head with the exact same drive and see what happens. And this is what we got. So overall, you know, post comments and stuff. I'll have links to all this in the video description if you want to check it out and check my channel out. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.